all the human beings, all of them, they are seeking for truth. They are seeking for beauty. They are seeking for ethics. They are seeking for science and knowledge. There is no difference between the human being in every corner of the world. Atta Ola Mohajirani is a former MP, government minister, and advisor to the president of Iran. He has been living with his wife, Jamile Kadivar, in London since 2004. Mohajirani is a public advocate of religious freedom and intercultural dialogue. But in all these years, he has never talked about his stubborn defense of Ayatollah Khomeini's order to kill British novelist Salman Rushdie. Mohajerani has continued to promote his lengthy book in support of this fatwa, a critique of the Satanic versus Conspiracy. On February 14, 1989, Ayatollah Khomeini issued a fatwa a religious opinion that automatically becomes law in Iran. Branding the author Salman Rushdie a heretic for his book, The Satanic Verses. He called on Muslims all over the world to kill him so no one else would dare to insult Islam. For nine years after this fatwa was issued, Salman Rushdie lived in hiding under police protection. In 1995, Ataola Mohajirani wrote a short story that gleefully satirized this British writer's fear of being attacked. In part of the story, Mohajirani looked at Rushdie's separation from his wife, Marianne Wiggins. He wrote, Marianne packed her suitcase. She did not say goodbye. She neither kissed him nor smiled. She only murmured, I am not afraid of death. I am afraid of the dead. I am afraid of living with a dead man. When I married you, your kisses had the aroma of sandalwood, and your eyes were the color of ebony. Now your kisses smell of the quicklime of death, and your eyes are lifeless and bulging like a frog's. Six months after Khomeini's fatwa, Mustafa Mazay, a member of Lebanese Hezbollah, attempted to assassinate Salman Rushdie in the UK. Mazay, a young man in his 20s, was killed in Paddington, central London, when the bomb he was carrying exploded before he got to Rushdie. Still trying to justify Khomeini's fatwa, Ataola Mohajirani wrote, Were it not for Aman Khomeini's fatwa, which stopped the desecration of Islam early in its tracks, wouldn't the book The Satanic Verses have been treated and analyzed as the history of Islam? In his fatwa, Ayatollah Khomeini had also called for the book's publishers to be put to death. On July 12, 1991, Hitoshi Igarashi, an associate professor who had translated the Satanic Verses into Japanese, was stabbed to death by an Islamist in Tsukuba, Japan. That same month, the book's Italian translator, Ettore Capriolo, was also beaten up and stabbed in Milan. He survived the assault. Then, on October 11, 1993, William Nygaard, who published the Norwegian edition of the Satanic Verses, was shot three times outside his home. He also survived the attack. Years later, in 2021, Norwegian police charged a former Iranian diplomat in Oslo for complicity in the assassination attempt. On July 2, 1993, unknown assailants set fire to a hotel in the Turkish city of Sivas that was hosting a speech by Aziz Nesin, a renowned humorist who had translated the book into Turkish. A total of 35 people, plus two of the perpetrators, were killed in the blaze, and 145 people were injured. Mohajirani insisted that the massacre was a proud moment in what he called the glorious Islamic reawakening. He wrote that Khomeini's fatwa had worked like a vaccine, 
preventing further criticism of the Prophet of Islam. Where are you, man? I want to have a dialogue with you by a machine gun, you know? Since 10 years ago, you are walking, you are running to the hell. I'm your angel, I'm your savior. We, we are Mustafa Mazen. We will kill you. We obey the Imam Khomeini the Great. Allah. Many European countries had recalled their ambassadors to Iran after Khomeini's fatwa was issued. But most of these diplomats returned after a few years. Despite the promises made by Tehran to nullify it, the fatwa remains in force to this very day. And in Iran, the Islamic fatwa of the Imam Rahel Azim Shan is still alive, is very difficult to change, and in the name of God, it is a difficult change and difficult change. And in fact, on February 13, 2021, the official bounty for assassinating Salman Rushdie was increased from one to three million dollars. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, the current supreme leader of the Islamic Republic, has repeatedly affirmed that Khomeini's fatwa is immutable. On February 13, 2017, Khamenei also stressed that Khomeini's fatwa remained in force. In 2004, Ataola Mohajirani was sent to prison in Iran after a complaint by a woman who said she had been his concubine. He was released on bail, left the country, and has been living with his wife, Jamile Kadivar, in exile in London ever since. Mohajirani continues to promote his book, which justifies the call for the death of a British writer. He claims his book has been reprinted more than 30 times and has been translated to English, Turkish, Arabic, and Urdu. In other words, he has kept encouraging not only Iranians, but also citizens of other countries to assassinate a British writer. So far, no proper study has been conducted into the role of Mr. Mohajirani and his book in promoting this massacre of intellectuals, translators, and publishers around the world. I believe that when we believe and we recognize the otherness, this is the first step to achieve our goals and our demands. This is a very, very important. 